Back in the day, there was one place to go for all your musical needs. Four Little Words, Top of the Pops. The weekly chart rundown fronted by Fern Cotton and Reggie Yates, amongst others, ran for more than 40 years before hanging up all the mics in 2006. Since then, big names including Simon Cowell have been trying to get the show back. Well, next to join the TOTP crusade are Boyzone. The reformed Irish band were once firm fixtures on the programme, and Ronan Keating and the lads thinks it's a crying shame it was scrapped. Top of the Pops was part of my youth every Thursday night at 7 o'clock. It's Top of the Pops, and I loved every minute of it. And, I, you know, I wish it was back for my kids. It was a very important part of the week to find out what was number one. And I know we've so many different mediums now to find these things out, but it'd be, it was nice to know that, you know, on Thursday night at 7 o'clock, you're top ten. Their calls have in part been heard. The BBC has rustled up some special episodes for the festive period, with one going out on Christmas Day featuring Britain's newest pop star, X Factor winner Alexandra Burke. I go to air this year, I can't believe Top of the Pops has stopped the show. I wanted to be on it. I cried when they stopped that show. Then they told me, by the way, the winner gets to perform on a one-off Top of the Pops. Sorry, that's what kicked me up the bum and said to me, you better win, girl. Oh, my gosh. She's now favourite to take the Xmas number one crown with her debut single Hallelujah, which means she's sure to feature on the Top of the Pops roundup of the year in music, which will go out on New Year's Eve. <laughs>